personal finance practice problem using Excel. Dividend income estimation. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to it, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank sheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below. Example, practice blank. Let's take a look at the example tab in essence being an answer key. Information's on the left. We're gonna use that information to estimate our quarterly dividends and our yearly dividends. The second tab, practice tab, is gonna have some pre-formatted worksheets so you can work through the practice problem with less Excel formatting. The blank tab is where we're gonna be adding the formatting as we go. If you don't have any of this worksheet, you could just open up a new worksheet. I would lay down a baseline formatting first and then put the information on the left-hand side. Doing that by selecting the triangle up top, I'm gonna to right-click on the sheet, format the whole sheet. I usually start with currency and then the bracketed for the negative, no dollar sign, no decimals. I'm not gonna hit okay because I already have that set up here. I'm just gonna close this out. Then enter your data on the left-hand side and then change the formatting of the cell. For example, adding decimals as needed. Make a skinny C column and we're good to go. So we'll start off with a quick calculation of the dividends, remembering that if we're owning stock, we're hoping to get a return on the stock owning you know having an ownership interest in a company typically a publicly traded company we're hoping that it will give us value in two ways typically one it can give us uh, dividends giving some of the earnings back to us and two it can increase in value and that will be reflected hopefully in the stock price as the market perceives that increase in value and then we'll have an increase in the stock price that we could sell the stock for here we're looking at the dividends let's assume that we own 225 shares of the outstanding common stock and we'll assume that the quarterly dividend per share on a per share basis is going to be 60 cents so if that were the case then we can try to figure out or estimate what the dividends we think we're going to be getting from this investment will be so we'll do a quick calculation here i'm going to make cell d a little bit wider dragging it to the right we're going to call this the quarterly dividend check amount and i'm going to then say enter let's make that black and white for our header i'm going to select those two cells go to the home tab font group let's make this black and white black and white i'm going to make column d a little bit larger so there we have it and so all we're going to do of course is take the shares that we have so these are going to be equal number of shares does the number of shares doesn't represent the total number of, of owners it represents the number of ownership chunks that are out there we can own multiple shares of the company we're going to say that we own 225 shares and we're going to say that the quarterly dividend per share let's just type it out quarterly div dividend per share tab is going to be equal to that 0. 0.6 or 60 cents per share that's at a one now because we have to format this thing let's go to the home tab number group add some decimals so we can see the 60 cents i'm going to make column d a little bit larger again so there we have it now uh, remember that the shares that are being or the dividends being given out are similar to kind of like draws if it was a partnership or a sole proprietor but we as the owner in a partnership typically have the capacity to determine how much we want in draws in a corporation then we can't have one stockholder getting paid different dividends than another therefore the dividend policy would need to be determined by the board of director and basically management so so we don't have the you know kind of control over that so that's going to be whatever it is they might do it on a quarterly basis which is fairly standard but they can pick other terms of when they're going to be offering the dividend as well they typically want to keep it fairly constant to un having an upward increase or having some stable method for giving the dividends so that means that we can typically predict with some degree of accuracy what we can expect dividends to be going forward the dividends become more and more important if we're relying on the dividends for income such as in the years of retirement for example okay so let's put an underline here home tab font group underline and we're going to call this the 
the quarterly dividend per share. So total, well, let's just say total, let's just call it total, total quarterly dividends for us, not per share. This is gonna be equal to the 225 times the 60. And so that means we got the 135. Let's add a couple decimals just in case. I think it's even, but add a couple decimals so we can see the pennies. Okay, so let's make this blue and bordered. So I'm gonna select these items here, go to the home tab, font group, let's hit the bucket. I'm gonna make it that blue. If you don't have that blue, you can go to the more colors. You, don't, you could use any blue you want, but I typically go to the standard wheel here and pick that blue right there. It's my, that's what I typically do. And I'm kind of set in my ways. My waves have been set long ago and they don't change unless there's some dang good reason for them to be changed. And I don't see one right here. Any case, now we've got the yearly dividend, yearly dividend, dividend. So obviously if we have four quarters that we're gonna get paid that much, we can basically say, okay, well there's four quarters in a year. Let's multiply it times four and get the yearly dividend, shall we? Let's make this a font group bucket let's make this black and white and we're going to pick up the quarter or total quarterly dividends i'll just equal the one above it this is going to be equal to the 135 and we're just going to say quarters in a year quarters in a year just like quarters in a dollar there's four of them that's what i'm talking about so that means our yearly dividend that we can estimate how much we're going to get yearly we could say well we'll think in 135 times the four quarters and that gives us the 540 let's put an underline home tab underline let's add some decimals even though we don't need them just so it matches the decimalized number up top adding a few decimals in the number group let's make that blue and bordered why because it's that's the, that's what the cool excel people do font group they make it blue and bordered and so we want to be in alignment with those the cool people and so we'll put the borders around it. Let's do a quick spell check to make sure that we don't have any embarrassing misspellings that will just destroy our, everything. Okay, so that's just a quick, quick worksheet. These are great little worksheets or examples to kind of build our tables and practice basically our formatting. We'll get into some more complex calculations for the shares and the investments in future presentations.